Love Wings Ministry Studios coming at you live this Wednesday with your host, Pastor Benny Ramos. Amen. From Love Wings Ministry Studios with Mini Me standing in. Studios, take one. Hey everybody, God bless you. Amen. Pastor Benny here. Amen. Coming at you live tonight here Wednesday night. Amen. With my stand-in mini-me. <laughs> Let me put him on the side. It is so good to be here tonight. To be able to share with you what God has given me here as we continue to just continue to broadcast and share the love of God to all our brothers and sisters that are out there. I apologize for yesterday. We couldn't go on. We had a, a previous engagement we had to go to, which I had a great time. Amen. And uh, God gives me an opportunity once in a while to go somewhere to minister to others. And it was such a blessing yesterday. I want to give a shout out to Karen and, and uh, all of them out there that we were hang, uh, well, <laughs> uh, uh, having a good time of fellowship. Amen. So again, I'm here tonight, or today rather, amen, Wednesday night. And also we got prayer tonight at 7 p.m., here at Love Wings Ministries uh, Studios at our sanctuary next door, amen, at 7 o'clock, and we welcome all those that would like to come. I just got to put this here to hold my phone up, amen. But again, they said unto me, let us come to the house of the Lord and praise his holy name, amen. And as we're coming into a new year, amen, and we're in Christmas time, the reason for the season is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. And I just thank the Lord because I'm always excited about sharing the love of God and, and just encouraging you, my sister and brother. But I want to take this opportunity right now to thank the Lord. Amen. Father, I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for your presence in my life. I thank you, Lord, that you continue to stir my spirit and tune my ears, my God, that I may share with my sisters and brothers to encourage them, those that watch this video now or watch it later, Father. I pray, Father, Lord, shalom. Father, I pray peace unto them and their family at this time, a season as we're going from an old year into a new year, Father. But we thank you, Lord. The, your word never changes. It's the same today. It's going to be the same tomorrow. It's going to be the same next year because you are faithful. Amen. And you love us, Father, with a love that would never end. So I come to remind my brothers and sisters as I remind myself, Lord, how beautiful and how pleasant it is to be in your presence, Father, every day of our lives that we acknowledge you and the Holy Spirit that's within us to continue to arise. Thank you, Lord, for this opportunity as I'll share what you've given me to share tonight with those here and to later as we gather together to pray and to study your word, Lord. And thank you, Father, to know more of you, Father, Lord. And I just thank you again for this opportunity. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. You know I love to hear background music as I'm as I'm talking, amen. But I want to start off, amen. The first thing I want to say, I love you, my sisters and brothers out there. Remember, this is the season. And the reason has always been what? To share the love of God with everyone. And using our gifts to the best of our abilities to share the truth. Nothing but the truth and the faithfulness of God as we continue to be faithful to Him, Lord. To the Father in everything that we do. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. I want to start off with Psalms 105, verses 1 through 5. Psalms 105, verses 1 through 5. 
Now, I believe I'm reading out of the easy to read version because I want to make sure that everyone hears it. There's a lot of different versions, and I love to study all the complete Jewish Bible, the King James, the NIV, all of them. Amen. The American Standard, the English Standard, you know, every standard. Amen. It all leads to the same thing, the love of God for you and I, my sister and brother. Again, I want to give a shout out to everybody out there. Uh, I love you guys, amen. Uh, those that we know and those that I don't know. You're my brother, you're my sister, amen. But I want to talk about today remembering, amen. Remembering how good and beautiful it is to serve a Lord that loves us and is faithful to us. And this is what we need to be to each other, my brothers and sisters. But I want to read, amen. Psalms 105 verses 1 through 5 says, Give thanks to the Lord and call out to him and tell the nations what he has done. Sing, uh, sing to him, sing praises to him. Tell about the amazing things that he has done. Oh, hallelujah. Verse 3, be proud of his holy name. You followers of the Lord. Be happy. Amen. Depend on the Lord's strength. Always go to him for help. Verse 5. Remember the amazing things that he has done. Amen. Remember his miracles and his fair decisions. Amen. Is that the truth? I could say amen to that a billion times, amen. Because we know that this last year, 2023, as we're approaching a new year, we're still in the middle of December. And we know this is a time that we take to just reminisce and, and about our past year and the things that have happened. But I want to say I want to reinforce that remember in the beginning of the new year, we know that all of us, People take, uh, you know, stock of their lives and they look back at their past decisions. Amen, as I do. Amen. But I thank the Lord that as I continue to have that intimate relationship as son to father and use my sister's daughter to father, that we're going to go through struggles. And the things that we went through this year, as we're still at the, you know, still coming to the end of this year, 23 we've learned a lot and we've grown a lot uh those my brothers and sisters that are plugged in in other words to the kingdom of god to having a relationship not a, rela a religious state of mind but a true relationship with the lord amen and we know that this year we look back at stock of our lives of what happened in the past but we also grow at the same time as we continue to as I'm always saying here, the more we water that seed that was planted in us the day that we accepted the Lord and we received the Holy Spirit, that we continue to water it and wash it by what? By the renewing of our minds and by also what? Uh, applying those scriptures, reading it, but also living those scriptures in our lives. And I'm very simple. And we know also in January is a good time to call back to what matters the most or people that matter the most in your life. I'm always saying this and I'm going to continue to say, you know, the people that we meet, you know, I always believe that the Bible says that our path has been uh, ordered by God, amen, and our direction in our lives and those individuals that he has placed in our lives, you know, uh, to me, that's my ministry. Whoever I meet, uh, or I come in contract, that's my ministry, to share the love of God with them, uh, the Word of God, but also to encourage them and to build them up. Amen. And that's what we need to remember, that this is what God desires for all of us, simply, man, to really care about each other and not do some of the things that we've done. Amen. And I'm speaking, you know, of things that we all know in our hearts. Amen. That Things may be happening in our past and maybe we didn't handle it right. But I'm going to tell you, as we continue to study the Word of God and we continue to apply the Word of, the, of God in us. Uh, I'm sorry, I just want to put some music behind me. Uh, in us, 
uh, the more we, 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 we read the word, the more we apply the word in our lives, the stronger the we, we, we become. And that's the truth, my brothers and sisters. And I say that to say this. We must continue to renew this mind every day. No matter how many years passes by, no matter how much we go through. But I love the word because, see, the word never changes. The seasons might change, but the word never changes. Thank God that God never changes. He's the same yesterday, today, this this last year and this new year. But the mistakes that we've done or the things that we've been going through this year, uh, you know, we could we could always reflect and know that God is in control of it. Amen. And, you know, I've passed through some things these last five or six years, you know, with the illness that I had and all the things. And I didn't understand why uh, the Lord allowed that. But I remind myself as I look at this cross that there's a reason that God allows us to go through things, but it makes us stronger and it builds our faith. Amen. It has mine, especially the things I went through last year, the year before that, the year before that, which to grow. Because you know what? I stay consistent. I keep watering that seed. I keep renewing my mind. I keep, you know, having a dialogue, of the, which is prayer with the Lord and just really loving God. I love God with all my heart and I'm so grateful. And when we start looking at the signs and the miracles that he's already done in our lives, and maybe you might be going through a circumstance. I don't know why I feel lit to say this. And you might be going through something and it's been kind of struggled this year, or this last year, and you might be still going through it. But remember that verse, this too shall pass. And God allows things to happen to us for sometimes, and what happens is that we grow. We know that the Bible said we're going to go through some kind of suffering and pain. But I assure you this, that they that stay focused on the things of God as I have done, and all I could do is be a witness and a testimony with my life, just stay consistent, man. Keep doing and keep searching and keep talking to God in prayer. Keep keep opening your heart and, and keep doing the Word of God and keep applying that love that God has given to, to you, my sister and brother out there, as He's given to me, and share it with others. As we reflect upon the last year, we need to ask ourselves, my brothers and sisters, how we made it through. <laughs> And I say all the time, I tell people, I made it too because I know that God is with me. You see, he's on my side. Amen. As the songwriter wrote, amen. What are the foundations and truth that help us to grow? That's the thing. Amen. And we also know that it's in difficult times, we grow and mature. You see, we grow and mature. Man, that's the beauty of God and having that true intimate relationship with God. Amen. And I'm just grateful. Amen. But also remember, what are the foundations of truth that helps us to grow? We also know that in difficult times, we grow into maturity. God brought us through this year, 2023. And he's going to bring us to the next year and the next one after that. Amen. But let me say this. Then in all the events and circumstances that I've faced, and everything about last year, amen, is designed by God, amen. I mean, or is, is designed from God, rather. And it is given up me or us to help us to grow and to conform more into what? To the very image of Jesus Christ. This is what God wants us to do, amen. And this is what Jesus is saying to us today, amen. And uh, I, I, I say to say this in... Um, you know, I, how can I, how can I, how can I, how can I manifest the, the power and the miracle of love is to do what, simply what Jesus did. He loved, he cared, he, he always came to encourage, never to tear down. And these are simple elements that we need to remind ourselves of, that the things that we do, the things that we say, it affects others. But most of all, our Heavenly Father, the Bible said, is looking down from heaven in everything that we do. And I know that sometimes we go through circumstances and we even question, God, why is this happening to me? I, I can identify with that. 
But also I know that God lets us go through things. And I want to encourage you, if you're going through something, whether it's sickness, whatever it might be, I always say this because it's so important that uh, this too shall pass. And sometimes we might not get the revelation while we're in it, but down the road, God will show us. Amen. And there's always a purpose. Amen. But my favorite verse has always been in For Love Wings that God has given me. As uh, Isaiah 40, verse 31. But I want to read it out of the easy-to-read version. I love the way it, 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 it explains it. It says, but those who trust, listen to this, those who trust in the Lord will become strong again. I hope you get this. Look, but those who trust in the Lord will become strong again. So if you're going through something, remember this verse. But those who trust in the Lord will become strong again. They will be like eagles that grow new feathers. I like the way that says that. New feathers, amen. They will run and not get weak. They will walk and not get tired. Oh, hallelujah. Very simple, very down to earth. This is what I love about Jesus when he talked in parables. And I, I you know, and I ran into this book and uh, the Bible, easy to read version. And I said, man, I want to use that. As we do, we read it in whatever version we have, NIV, uh, uh, King James, uh, uh, the complete Jewish Bible, and then we, we come down to the easy to read version because I wanna make sure that everybody out there, my sisters and brothers, you know, sometimes we can get caught up in so theology and get that big head spirit because we know so much in the word. Uh, this is just my interpretation of that. But God wants us to be plain and simple and direct to the point. Amen. And there's so many beautiful scriptures in the word of God that empower us. This is why I'm always sharing with everyone here. When you're going through something, remember whatever it might be that you're going through, there's an answer, there's a verse, there's an encouragement, there's a direction, there's revelation, there's interpretation to the word of God that gives us power to overcome every adversity, every circumstance, everything that happens to us, amen. Because the word brings joy, the word brings peace, the word brings correction, the word brings direction, amen. And we got, this is why I encourage you, study the word of God. Make sure that what I'm saying or any preacher is saying to you that goes according to God's will and God's word. Amen. Show yourself approved, in other words, man. Be, be seeking after the righteousness and the truth, word of God, amen, and his righteousness. And then the Bible says that all these things will be added on to you, all our desires and all the things that we might be going through today, amen. But again, I want to encourage you, I'm excited for this new year. I'm planning to do greater things than I did last year. You see, we're to be persistent and to continue to move forward and meeting new folk. Amen. Meeting new, rather, brothers and sisters. I sound country there for a minute. <laughs> but meeting new people. Amen. Like I'm from New York. Amen. And I'm out here in Florida and I love it. Amen. And, you know, I'm so grateful for God. Uh, you know, in season, we go through things in life, but you know what? God has a destiny and a plan when you follow his word, when you stay intimate with him. And that's the greatest thing that I can share to anyone. Remember 2 Corinthians 5.17 says, When anyone is in Christ, it is a whole new world. And I'm reading out of the easy to read version again. It is a whole new world. The old things are gone. Suddenly everything is new. And that's how the word is, man. When you get excited, amen, about the word and you apply it, oh, hallelujah. I could, Man, I can go for days, amen, uh, studying and, and empowering myself to the best of my being and learning because, you know, I want more of God, less of me. And the more we do that, the more God wants to reveal to you, my sister and brother out there. Amen. And also, I want to give you another one. Romans chapter 8, verse 18. We have suffering suffering now, but these are nothing compared to the great glory that will be given to us. That's you and I. That's the power of God, the power of God's love, the Holy Spirit that he's given us. 
Oh, hallelujah. That's why we got to remember to call on that Holy Spirit that's within us and say, arise within me. And let this flesh descend and continue to renew your mind and keep pouring these, these verses into your heart and into your life. Amen. That'll give you, man, joy and peace and hope. Even in the midst of suffering and not letting yourself grow into doubt because that's what the enemy comes to use. Oh, snaggle to, for I call the devil. Amen. Comes to kill, to destroy, and to deceive you. Amen. And he'll use anything to try to deceive you, my sister and brother. Be alert and be on God, as the Bible says. Always be on God because he's out there. He even disguises himself. Amen. I like that bell sound. He even disguises himself to try to imitate a lion. Amen. You know, the word says that he's uh, going like a roaring lion, trying to see who he can deceive, because that's all he can do. See, I believe with all my heart, once you have God in you and you have the Holy Spirit, you have power and authority over all things, as it says in the book of Acts, that he's given us power. But you know what? Again, remember Romans 8, 18. We have suffered suffering now, but these are nothing compared to the great glory that will be given to us. Amen. Oh, man, I tell you, I love the word. And also, just a little commercial break here for a minute. Um, again, for those that might not know me, I'm Pastor Benny Ramos from Love Wings Ministry Studios. We're right in the border of... Uh, Port St. Lucie and Fort Pierce, right on US-1, next to the car dealership, amen. And, and uh, we're at uh, uh, the Chrysler dealership is right on our right side here. We're in a, uh, the plaza, which is called Cube Smart, is a storage facility, but they have suites, you see a building there. We're right there, at, uh, suite three, I mean, suite two and three. That's how I was there. And you'll see signs all over the place that says Love Wings Ministry. Uh, we're here to use our platform to encourage all my brothers and sisters out there. And we'd love to hear your testimony. Or you can be a part of it by coming here and spending time with me. We can do a video together. We'll put it on your website. We want to encourage you, any ministries, uh, whoever's out there. Amen. I'm always stretching out my hand. And... And, and our facility next door, which is our studio, we have services on Sundays at 11 a.m. We pray to 11.30. We come into his house with prayer. Amen. Then we get into praise and worship, live praise and worship with musical instruments. And then we get into the word after that. We usher the presence of God. Amen. As the Holy Spirit leads us that day amen and on wednesday night like tonight for those that are out there maybe you're not doing nothing you would like to come by we welcome you to come we also have prayer amen we love to pray we ask all ministers everyone that's out there that would like to participate and encourage us amen come on down again our address is 5801 south us1 uh, if someone comes soon, because I'm here in the studio by myself, amen, I'll put a flash it on there, but we'll do it at the end of the program. Amen. So I'm saying all that because I keep reaching out, and, you know, the Bible says, let us not forsake the assembling of ourselves, my brothers and sisters. And we've been out here for uh, 13 years in ministry, and you probably heard from us, some of you out there. If you haven't, again, I'm Pastor Benny, Love Wings Ministry, and we're here to encourage and to build up. And it's not uh, every, everybody that's out there, you're my brothers and sisters. Let us show our community and this world that we have to change our ways the way we uh, have been uh, separated. Because that's what the enemy wants to do. I just feel led by the Holy Spirit to share that tonight. And those brothers and sisters that have walked through our doors, we love you. We're still praying for you and your family. You're always welcome. I love Wings Ministry Studios. Amen. We love you. And I just wanted to share that uh, from my heart. As this is a new season, let us change our old ways. Let us get into God's way, what God will want us to do. And if you offended or hurt anyone, forgive them, man. And forgive yourself if someone's done that to you. Remember that God is looking at what we do and how we're to be. This world needs you, my sister and brother. So let us stand together. 
and encourage one another, amen, and be, be able to show the world that we are the true disciples and followers of Christ because that's what God is looking for, for those that are going to worship him in spirit and in truth, amen. But again, let me get back to the word. Jeremiah 29, verse 11, out of the easy-to-read version says, And I say this, because I know the plans that I have for you, this message is from the Lord, my sister and brother. I have a good path for you. I don't plan to hurt you. I plan to give you hope and a good future. Oh, hallelujah. Tell me if God's word is not empowering and sharp like a two-edged sword to slice the doubts and the enemy hate. We got to bind hate and loose love into the atmosphere, my brothers and sisters. Amen. Remember also Proverbs 23 verse 18 out of the easy to read version said, this will give you something to hope for that will not disappoint you. Amen. Which is having that true love for God. You see, my brother, those days of just doing these religious acts and not really living the life, man. This is what God and the enemy wants to, to I'm, uh, let me put it this way. This is what the enemy wants to stop. But God wants us to renew. As we look at all this past year and the things that we've done, we're to grow. But also, let us look into our future and let us apply the word more by doing it more with each other. Because I know, you know, I, I say this, that a lot of people I've met that are going through things are brothers and sisters that are, can call them, well, let me just say that that, 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 uh, that supposedly have a relationship with God. I'm just being truthful, my brothers and sisters. And it's sad because we should be, all of us, in a place, as the Bible says, because this is what God wants. He wants us to be as one as Jesus prayed. And I keep saying the same quote that Jesus quoted when he prayed. He said, Father, I thank you for those that you have given me. But Father, I pray that they be as one as I am with, with you. So this way, in layman's term, we can go and be with them. And I want God to be with me and my family, man. And we're just out here sharing the love of God, me and my wife and my children and those here, my family, those here at Love Wings Ministry. We're just here sharing the love of God, and we're going to continue. And we know that, you know what, we learn. We learn new things as we continue to to grow in the things of God and we continue to grow in age and wisdom and maturity. Amen. Uh, and, and that's an important thing. But remember this in Lamentation chapter 3, verse 22 and 23. Again, Lamentations chapter 3, verse 22 and 23 says, For we are still alive because the Lord's faithful love never ends. Oh, hallelujah. Every morning, he shows it in a new way. You are so very, what, true and loyal. Amen. And also, one of my favorite verses is Romans chapter 5, verse 5. And it says out an easy-to-read version. And this hope will never disappoint us. We know that, uh, we know this because God has poured out, listen to this, poured out his love to fill our hearts through what? Through the Holy Spirit that he gave us. That's love, man, that's in our hearts. And that love has to continue to radiate out of our lives to everyone. And I know it's sometimes because I fell short and I've learned from my mistake. I said, Lord, but I've repented right away. Lord, forgive me, and I tried to do better. Sometimes we say things out of the flesh, and we got to remember that we got to continue to walk in the Spirit for those that worship God must worship Him in the Spirit and also the Word, which is the truth. 
but we also got to be true to you know to know that ourselves in our hearts that we're doing the you know uh, the Lord's uh, uh, commission is to go out to the world and to and to bring all those to the kingdom of God that's still our calling we're here to serve amen God blessed us and saved us and gave us the greatest gift which is the Holy Spirit to serve and if we can't serve one another how can we serve the Lord amen I mean that's a question that arises Every time I study the Word of God and every time I teach it, amen, I, I learn something new. And not to say that I know everything, but I know that I, the more I apply the Word, the more I read the Word, the more I start understanding, getting true revelation and interpretation of what He's saying from, you know, to us to do and in my life anyway, amen, and to apply that Word. These are the instructions that God has given us. So. You know, I say to say this, man. Remember, let us encourage one another. When someone invites you out, man, go. Visit them, you know. Uh, we got to stop this saying when we say that we're going to do something, then we don't do it, and the other person is let down. And this is how doubt starts growing, you know. If we say we're going to do something, let's do it. Simple layman's term. I'm very simple, and I come to the point. Because, see, the enemy, you know, uh, uh, is out there man and he wants us to 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 even you know a lie is a lie i mean i'm that 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 simple man we got to remember that uh god wants us to walk in truth and integrity because we don't represent ourselves we represent he that is in us amen and and that's the most important thing that i can share to anyone as i remind myself and I'm also reminding you, my sister and brother. And I say all that because this is a new year. Man, you're God's child. You're God's daughter. You're God's son. And he loves you. And uh, there's nothing impossible with God. Amen. And if you're going through something right now and you might be saying, Lord, why are you allowing this to happen? Remember our brother Job and others that went through so many things, but yet... You know, we might not understand it. I'll keep saying that while we're going through it, as I went through some stuff, and not to say that I might not still go through stuff. And I'm, you know, whatever God has, I'm, I'm available. Amen. And that's what God wants us to be available and active and persistent. And the older we get, we should be more persistent and more active. You know, we just got some new young men in our church, and I'm trying to expire, expire it them to have more deeper relationship with God but also not just by words but by my life and my actions and what I have to share with others you see when we get into that position uh, we're really doing what God expects you and I to do you know not to say that I'm somebody great is God that's in me that makes us great amen is God that's empower us to do great things and to bring up our families and our friends and our neighbors to a realization of who God is and the peace that God because my brothers and sisters the way that they see Jesus and the love of God and the word of God is through you my sister and brother out there so we have to take responsibility of what God has bestowed upon you and I to be true followers and disciples of Christ as we learn from our brothers and sisters and our ancestors from the New Testament and the Old Testament, the things that they had to go through and the pain and suffering and, and because of what they went through and because they wrote the word, amen, for us, the instructions of God from the first day of Moses with the Ten Commandments to the book of Matthew to the every new testament verse that's in there that paul and all james and luke and, and matthew and all these people that went through for us to have this word today that empowers us that gives us strength and and gives us power to overcome doubt and and disobedience and I'm very simple, man, because, man, let's remember that the things that we do, my brothers and sisters, it affects those around us. Let us change this year. As we look back at this last year, 
let's look at the, uh, the things that we know we made mistakes and then let us change them and, and apply the word into whatever it might be, amen, and say, let me do what Abba Father wants me to do. Let me do what Yahshua, Jesus, want, would expect us to do, amen. And I want to encourage you, and I'm going to do my best as as God has given me the power and to study more, to be able to share with you, my sisters and brothers, and also what we have here, our platform, we want to share it with you, those that are out there. I keep reaching out, amen, um, you know, and I'll, I'll help anybody and try to encourage anyone that would come and be a part of what, we, what we're trying to do is to just to share the love of God to all of you and and we break bread together, we fellowship. We don't just have Sunday service, we come after and have coffee. We have like a dining room area here and we share the gospel and anyone that's doing something positive for the community or health-wise, whatever, please let us know and, and we wanna help you, amen. We'll use our platform to lift up whatever you're doing because you're my sister and brother. Let us spread the love of God this year. Let us get out of our comfort zone. Let us step out, meet new people, new ministries. Let's get involved, new things that are doing. I also give a shout out to Mary's House out in Stewart where they help young ladies that are pregnant, that don't have a place to go. They give them room and board at two at a time, I believe, be out of this house they have there, but they're doing something positive. I really admire them. And I got an opportunity to go there, and I'm always in their prayers. And man, let, uh, uh, praying for them rather, and, and they're in our prayers here. And everyone that's doing something out in our community, Amen. Hazel, Pastor Hazel out in Fort Pierce is doing great work out there, feeding the the hungry and doing other things there. I pray for that ministry and all the other ministries that are out there that God has ordained and that are out there really doing. The work of the Lord. Imagine if we join together and use our resources, all our resources together, we can change this community, our country, and this world. But most of all, we are not just uh, 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 just changing the world, but we're doing what God has called us to do, to share the gospel. That is the gospel to me, is doing the work of God and never Never uh, uh, putting him second, but putting God first in everything that we do. And that's basically, in other words, put your money where your mouth and where your heart's at. And that's, you know what, uh, doing the blessing. In order to receive a blessing, you have to be the blessing. Amen. So I say that to say this. I just want to encourage you tonight. Amen. Hallelujah. So again, I... I at 7 p.m. today, we have uh, prayer. Amen. I invite those that would like to come out. I would love to meet those new ones that I don't know. And maybe you're not doing nothing tonight. Come on by and meet us. Amen. I would love to meet you. And that would be an encouragement to me. And I'll encourage you and those out there, man. I love you. Amen. Whoever you are. Amen. I pray that God will continue to bless you and your family. And remember what I've said today. If this message has been a blessing to you, please put it on your Facebook page, share with others, and also those that watch us on love, I mean on on on, on YouTube, please subscribe, amen, and, and watch our videos there too, we, we're we just trying to spread out as much as we can, and we continue to learn as we're doing here out of our studio broadcasting, and, uh, on our, and, and, and our services on Sundays, and uh, also we have my wife doing Women at the Round Table. We invite those ladies out there that would like to be a part of it also, uh, to be a part of it here at our studios, amen. And we want to know about you, amen, and what God is doing in your life. I always say this, that our greatest thing that we can share with others is our testimonies of what God, how he came to the Lord and what he's done for us, amen. And that is the main thing, amen. And that's why God put in my heart to do Love Wings Ministry Studios. And again, with the thanks of my church in New York City, Full Gospel Tabernacle, that uh, prays for us and encourages me and helps me to do what I'm doing here today, amen. And I'm just so grateful. Uh, and that's the thing, you see, the, the gift that God has given us, we're to give back, amen, and to share it, and to wherever we go, to be a witness and a testimony, amen. 
So again, I pray for Pastor Carlos and those and, and Pastor Maggie out in Love, uh, Far Rockway, Far Full Gospel Tabernacle, my home church, amen, out there. And I thank God for them and everyone there. And all of you out there that I've met and have come to Love Wings, you'll always be a part of Love Wings. I love you, amen, and your families, amen. And for whatever reason you're not here, but that's okay. We still love you and we care for you and we pray for you and your family. And we thank God for you. And again, my light is always on and my doors are always open. And I love you guys. Amen. So I'm going to get up and put my mini-me because nobody's here yet. Amen. My stand-in. Then I'm going to put the address up and some things that please bear with me a few minutes before I get off the air. But again, Father, I want to thank you for this opportunity that you've given me, Lord, tonight, Lord. I pray that what I've said today has stirred the spirit and tuned the ears of those that are watching now or those that maybe watch later and that will share this video with others, Lord. I pray for those that I haven't met yet that will come and meet with me, Lord, and Father, and be a part of uh, encouraging one another, Lord. I pray for every ministry that's out there, every pastor and their families, Lord. I know what it is to be in their shoes, Lord. I pray for their finances, Lord, that you're opening new doors, Lord. And Father, that they continue to be persistent and stand in truth and righteousness, Lord. And Father, Lord, I continue to say to bless them, Lord, wherever they might be at and whatever they're doing, Lord, prosper them, Lord. Father, I pray that in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And I, again, I thank you for this opportunity. I pray for those that are maybe facing challenges right now, whether it's cancer, whatever it might be. Remember that this too shall pass. And sometimes God allows us to go through these things. You, and when fear comes, just stand and remember to keep staying act, get more active. That's what I did when I had to get a liver transplant and cancer and all the things I went. Just stay active. Keep moving forward in things and get more involved in the things of God you know and 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 don't let doubt because doubt will the enemy will try to bring doubt but I bind that in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I pray healing right now I pray deliverance right now and those that may be confused Lord I pray peace shalom right now Father, that this video and everything that I said will accomplish what it's set out to do, as your word said, that your word will accomplish and will set out to do and will not go void, but it will accomplish what it needs to do. So I pray that today, and again, I thank you for this opportunity, another day that you've given me, Lord, that I can come on the air and share about you, Lord, and your love for me and your love for all of my brothers and sisters out there. Amen, amen, and amen. I'm going to put some things up. Please don't leave yet. I'm going to put some uh, information up as my mini-me stands there. Amen. God bless you. And we need help. This is why I'm hoping that we get brothers and sisters to be a part of Love Wings. Amen. Studios. Amen. Our location is at Spawa. I'll put it right up right now. Our location is 5801 South US 1, Fort Pierce, Florida, 34982. And my, my personal cell number and church number is the same. It's 772-834-9634. Please contact us. Amen. If this has been a blessing to you, amen. And if we can help in any way, we're right in the Cube Smart Plaza. There's parking in the side there. And also we have parking on the right side, which is a church there. Amen. But we have the, you know, they allow us to also park there. And we have a lot of parking. So please come out. Amen. Again, we here every Sunday. At 11 a.m. to 11.30, amen, we have prayer, then we get into praise and worship, amen, and then after that comes the word, and as the Holy Spirit leads us, again, uh, that's in Studio 2, that's the same address, amen, in Studio 3, we do our studio work, and also we have a dining area where we fellowship, and we love to fellowship with you, my sisters and brothers out there, amen, again, that's our address, in our location, we're right next to the Chrysler dealership on US-1. Amen. So again, 
and also I'm trying to put a bad thing a hold on. Also, blessing to all my brothers and sisters. I would like, I would love to come to your church or group and share my testimony and the word of God and praise and worship. Again, you can call us at 772-834-9634 or Lovewings Ministries at gmail.com. Pastor Benny Ramos. Amen. Again. Amen. And also, if you can send a love offering, you can send it to Cash App. Love Wings Ministry. Dollar Sign Love Wings Ministry Studios. Pastor Benny Ramos. Amen. Love Wings Ministry Studios. God bless you all, the family of Love Wings. Amen. God bless you from Love Wings. That's a wrap. <laughs>